Yo, welcome to OTB Boxing School, where we make casual fans real fans. Man, y'all know what it is. We got some fight film to break down, so class is in session on Stephen Fulton versus Naya Inui for the WBO WBC Super Bantamweight titles in which Naya Inui holds. Stephen Fulton is moving up in weight. Giving us the fight in which boxing fans wanted to see. And I couldn't be more pleased with the sport of boxing making this fight happen. But meantime, in between time, I need all my new students. Go ahead, smash that subscribe button. Man, smash that bell notification. Old students, hit that like button. Man, we about to get into this fight film as the credentials will be popping up on the screen for both of these fighters. Man, as I said earlier, I couldn't be more pleased with both of them. So let's try and support both of these fighters win lose a draw man because i think this is going to be a hell of a fight we got naya inui who's going to have to overcome an inch and a half height advantage and a three inch reach advantage um for stephen fulton but let's start out man i wanted to start out with this film of stephen fulton as he just got caught sitting on the line on his back foot but i started off with this film just to show y'all um the kid got all the tools you understand? And he has all of the answers that he needs to um, keep um, Naya Inui where he needs to be. I picked this fight because this fighter show a lot of different looks to Stephen Fulton. As you can see, him double, triple up the jab right there to put Stephen Fulton on his back foot. As um, I'm... I can't wait to see if Naya Inui is going to be able to show us all of these looks in which this fighter showed us. But as we look at Stephen Fulton, man, he has a tendency to drop his hands at time and to not um, stay on the phone. So for this fight, I really want him to stay on the phone and stay tight. But when it comes to that lead hand, as we see that check hook right there, check hook again, you understand, as he's um, timing the weight transition of his opponent, then you're going to see him lean in, set up that overhand right, roll with the punch, you understand, just beautiful boxing, man, the kid has all the tools, but as you can see him get caught on the line at times, man, and because he has this Philly shell and his lead hand is so low, then it makes his jab irrelevant at times, and fighters can see it coming, therefore, it will be countered at some point in this fight from Naya Inui, however, um, Stephen Fulton has a high defensive IQ and um he just has a tendency to back himself in the corners. And I really think that that's what's going to be um, to his detriment in this fight. As we can see him right here, jab his way out, then roll off the line, get himself out of harm's way, and keep this fight in the middle of the ring, which is where he'll be successful at. As you can see him triple up that jab right there, take advantage of the reach advantage. He gets caught on his way out just from his tendency to drop his hands. Um, most of the time, giving it that Philly shell, sometimes due to his um confidence and his um his ability to take punches from fighters at that weight class in which he's been at however he is moving up in weight to take this fight and we all know the power that Naya Inui possesses so uh, I really like to see Stephen Fulton stay tight throughout this fight um not drop his hands so much and let's get some head movement laterally and not back up so much let's let's stand our ground a little bit and show us some head movement but right here I just wanted to show you that he does have a tendency to get caught on the line and with his head over that front foot and when he does that man you can see him take that overhand right right there and because I know that your head is over your front foot it's gonna be there again so he doubles up with the overhand right and the kid is successful once um he, he does close the distance then he'll check the he'll uh, shoot that little jab down there to the body just to make sure he can get close and as he does get close Stephen Fulton gonna wrap up while he get in the pocket I mean once he gets it, um, and with his back to those ropes and that's really a place I don't want to see Stephen Fulton throughout the course of this fight but he has a tendency to back up when he's not active as we can see him shoot the double jab then go downstairs to the body as I said when a kid can cr controls the line he's active so um I, I really think that that's going to be his strong suit throughout this fight. However, I do expect Naya Inui to close the distance and to eliminate that lead hand. And when he does, um, I'm going to need for Stephen Fulton to really depend on his legs throughout the course of this fight. But I'm curious to see if he, 
if um Naya Inuit can show us how little looks as we can see um his opponent right here has changed the levels. He's went outside. Now he's showing him a high guard, um, baiting him in so that he could try and counter Fulton. Fulton is just smart enough and he just shoots that shotgun jab right in there to keep him off of his front foot. Now the kid lifts up his front foot so that he can't try to disguise the weight transition. And Fulton is smart enough to rotate off of the line clockwise away from that power hand just to give you all a, um, a sense of the adjustments that Stephen Fulton is capable of making throughout this fight and that's really the um the nod in which I'm giving Stephen Fulton to win this fight but right here I just wanted to show you that he does have a high tendency to back up and this is when he gets caught in trouble look at him backing up just backing up until he gets caught on the line and then he's right there for two overhand right hands again and we know the power that Naya Inui possesses so I don't want to see him backing up putting himself up against the ropes or in the corners where um he's going to be in harm's way and trust me, if he does, Naya Inuit going to put his ass to sleep or in that front row, man. And I don't want to see that um, for the pride of Philadelphia. Got to say that. Stephen Fulton's a very smart fighter. So I want to see him go in here and fight his fight. Let's work that jab. Let's take advantage of that reach, that three-inch reach advantage. But as you can see, when he's not active, you can't eliminate that lead hand in which Stephen has because he shoots his jab from such a low angle point. There Therefore, it will be countered. And um, that's really something that I expect his camp to try and work on and um, come in this fight real tight and, um, and real on his uh real on his dean but right here as you can see him back himself into a corner again because he just refuses to rotate off the line or, or to rotate counterclockwise in this appearance or clockwise right now to stay away from the power hand so I, I'm curious as you can see him right here drop his hands look at him that ain't some shit that you want to do in this fight against Naya Inui however you see this kid change the levels now he gonna sit on the high guard until um um, he can close a distance in which he has some success. These are all points that he's landing in this fight. And if Naya Inui can get that close and land those type of punches with that type of power, Stephen Fulton going to be hurt at some point in this fight. And he's going to have to dig deep and go into a dark place. But... Right here, as you can see him get caught with yet another overhand right because he gets caught on that front foot. And you could you could time that weight transition with him. Yeah you know I mean when when his hand is, is that low, you can time his weight transition because he gotta shoot the jab from such a low angle point, as I said previously in a video. And that's gonna make him easy to counter. But when he is in the high guard, when he is tight on the phone, shooting that jab, taking advantage of that three inch reach advantage. Advantage, shooting that check hook then hey I expect him to win this fight and I expect him to fight his fight throughout the remainder of this fight I don't want to see him going there exchanging um with Naya Inui this won't be a fight that you'll see him fight in the pocket I, I do expect him to pick his moments however uh we know the type of power that he possesses but once again you can see him back himself into a corner and then look he gonna tell him, come on, let's go. Now watch the kid. Watch how smart the kid is. As Stephen Fulton's hands, as you can see him, drop the phone. Don't drop the fucking phone. Now he'll go into that high guard and watch the kid tee off good glove placement. Wraps that, People that always right hook around that glove. I'm a hard worker. We've Everybody seen him take four to six That's right hooks. That's not gonna separate you from anybody else. What are you working right hard on? That we People see always look for one thing for the one other. Of the oh, you know, you gotta work smart. In there, as his feet drain out he gets caught a lot um coming out of um in and out uh um exchanges so Stephen Fulton having a three inch reach advantage that'll be another area that uh I look for him to to um really take advantage of but I couldn't be more excited about this fight, man. I was excited to break this film down for y'all, man. Um, we we getting back active. Gotta say that. We gonna have Capper Fact Fridays coming up and Trainer Talk Thursdays, man. So we gonna get two of them in this week. Everybody, all the new students, go ahead and subscribe, man. I'm pleased with my old students, man. All of the faculty students, everybody that, that's um a part of OTB Boxing School. Y'all know what this is. TWT um, as a movement. Yeah, you know I mean, I, everybody who 
uh, stuck it out with us while we was and was patient with us while we um, transitioned throughout um, making boxing the the, the um, focal point of of our life right now so we'll be back active man and i appreciate everybody's patience man but we on y'all last man a lot of y'all been stealing my shit while i've been gone so um while i i I address that at the moment, man. I just want y'all to know, man. It's okay to use my shit, man. Just put my name on it. Show me some love, man. That's how I, I ain't mad. I ain't no hater. Yeah, you know I mean, it ain't it ain't no big deal. Like, but don't steal my shit, man. I put a lot of creative control and a lot of creative thinking in the ways that will make my shows different. Yeah, you know I mean, when when y'all use Capper Fact, that's a segment of my show that I started close to eight months ago. Yeah, you know I mean, um. Um, it's some other things that y'all was biting, but right now, man, we ain't gonna dig into it too much, man. I want to congratulate both of these fighters, win, lose, or drop, for taking this fight, for making this fight happen for the sport of boxing, man. This is special. This is gonna be a special year in boxing, man. We got Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence. Y'all know what it is. I been told y'all what it was on that fight, man. So tap into everything boxing, man. All of the support and networks, man, who's a part of OTB Boxing School success. All of of my um faculty lunch ladies students man we about to turn this shit up y'all know what it is so appreciate y'all tapping in with us till we tap out man class is dismissed on steven foe and naya and you we y'all hit the comments let me know who y'all got in this fight i got steven foe and um by decision i don't expect either fighter to uh stop each other in this fight i think this fight does go to distance and um let's support the loser of this fight the same way we support the winner because if we want these fights at the of this magnitude then we have to support the losers the same way we support these winners otherwise we can't be mad at guys for protecting that zero but on that note we out class dismissed from otb boxing school y'all tapped in with us till we tapped out and now we tapped out